we're looking at compound interest, and we've been looking at this timeline. And of course, the beginning of this timeline is the present. So we refer to the, the value of any account at the beginning as the present value, abbreviated, of course, PV. And the end of the timeline is at some point in the future. So we refer to the value at the end of an account to be the future value, abbreviated FV. And in the middle, in between those, of course, at regular intervals, interest is added in to that account. And, of course, the term compound interest just means that once that interest is added in, the next time interest is calculated, it is calculated on top of the previously earned interest. And we came up with that compound interest factor that looked like this. 1 plus the rate divided by n to the power of nt. And what that is is just it creates a multiple for that interest over that period of time. Remember, r stands for rate which is the percent as a decimal. N is the number of periods per year. And T is the number of years. So we're going to do a couple of examples of compound interest here. Calculating the future value. So what we're, we're doing here is if we know this present value, we know the value right now, and we know the requirements or the, the items, the rate, the time, and the, the compounding, calculate what that future value will be equal to. And so the formula to find the future value from the present value it's the future value equals that present value times that compound interest factor. So as we look at some examples of this, find the future value of $8,000 at 5.9% compounded quarterly for five years. So we're looking for, find the future value, tells us we're looking for the future value. So we need the present value, well that's the 8,000. That's the current amount. We need the rate. Well, the rate is 5.9%, which we're going to convert to a decimal of 0 0.059. N, compounded quarterly. Quarterly means four times a year, so N is four. And finally, T, our time in years, is five years, so T is five. So our formula here, the future value, is equal to $8,000 times one plus, R is going to be point zero five nine divided by N is four for quarterly, to the power of four times five. So I'll enter this in the calculator, $8,000 times, in our parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.059 divided by 4. Close the parentheses to the power of, and then in parentheses again, I'm going to put 4 times 5. Now, in many cases, rather than putting that parentheses in the exponent like that, I'll just, knowing that 4 times 5 is 20, I will enter that as one exponent. So I get $10,721.89. That is the future value of that investment. Now a follow-up question to that might look like this. How much compound interest was earned?
In fact, if we were asked to find the compound interest, we would have to do all of this to begin with and then do this next step to find that compound interest. The future value, the compound interest, is simply the future value minus the present value. It's the amount that the account increased in value over its period of time. So we have the $10,721.89. That's the future value. The present value was $8,000. So we have compound interest of $2,721.89. Like I said, if we were only asked to find the compound interest earned, we would still have to do all these steps up here anyway to get to that point. So let's look at another example. How much will Sam have in 15 years if $2,500 is invested at 8.3% compounded monthly. So I worded this a little differently, made it a little more vague, but we're still how much will Sam have? Will Sam have in the future? That implies that we are looking for a future value. Present value is the 2,500. The rate, going to be the 8.3% or 0 0.083. And of course, we have our time of 15 years. So let's put this in the formula, our future value equals our pres present value of 2,500 times, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.083 divided by, I didn't do N yet, but it's compounded monthly, so that means N is 12, to the power of 12 times 15. Now, as I said, we can do this 12 times 15 in parentheses as an exponent, but I will often just do 12 times 15 which should be 180. So that I can just enter that 180 all at once when I put this in the calculator. So 2,500 times parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.083 divided by 12. Close parentheses, again, I can do the power of and put in parentheses 12 times 15, or I know that, that is 180, so I'm just going to put in the 180. So 864521. $8,645.21. Now again, if I have that follow-up question, how much compound interest is earned? It's simply going to be that amount, that future value, minus my present value, my starting value. And I will calculate a difference of $6,145.21. That's the compound interest. One last example. What if the time period is less than a full year? So I'm just going to put this in generic terms. Find the future value of $4,000 invested at 3.1% compounded monthly for eight months. So now we have, we're finding the future value. Our present value is the $4,000. 
our rate is the 3.1% or 0 0.031. N, it's compounded monthly, so N is 12. And our time is eight months. But we've said before, time is always in years. So that's eight twelfths of a year. And that's how we'll enter it into our formula. So our future value equals our present value of $4,000 times parentheses 1 plus rate of 0 0.031 divided by n, which is 12, to the power of 12 times 8 twelfths. Now I could multiply this out up here, 12 times 8 twelfths, to get 8 as my number of periods. But let's go ahead and do we can enter it in the parentheses like that. So 4,000 times parentheses 1 plus 0 0.031 divided by 12. Close parentheses to the power of, in parentheses I'm going to put 12 times 8 divided by 12. Giving us $4,083.42. That is that future value. So those are the basics of a future value calculation. All we have to do is remember the formula for that future value based on present value.